What groundbreaking innovations has CATL brought this year? First up is our all new sodium ion battery brand, the CATL Naxtra battery. Imagine powering your car, your home, even your city with salt? Not a dream, but a claim from KATL, the global battery giant. Lithium ruled for decades, but its crown now shakes. Sodium stands at the gate. If you've ever thought clean energy was too costly or fragile, this could change everything. This story may change how we see power itself. We'll explore how CATL's move rattled markets and sparked both hope and doubt. Each claim opens doors and raises questions. Stay close, because the lithium empire may be facing its boldest challenger yet. The next energy chapter is being written now. The Lithium Empire. Katiel did not rise overnight. It became the largest battery company in the world by mastering lithium technology and supplying it to the biggest car brands. From Tesla to Mercedes, their cells have powered millions of electric vehicles on the road today. That kind of influence is not just about numbers. It shapes the direction of the entire industry. For years, the focus was clear. Improve lithium batteries, scale production, and drive costs lower until electric cars could match gas cars. KTL played that game better than anyone. So when a company that controls more than a third of global battery supply suddenly shifts attention, it is not a small move. It is like a giant turning its head, forcing everyone else to look the same way. That is why the move to sodium feels less like an experiment and more like a signal of what comes next. Sodium, the underdog element. Sodium has always been at hand. It is found in oceans, rocks, and even the food we eat daily. Yet in the battery world, it has long been treated as second best. Engineers dismissed it because it could not match lithium's energy density. A sodium pack weighs more for the same power, and it fades quickly after repeated use. These weaknesses kept it away from electric cars and large storage projects. Still, researchers never gave up. The idea of building energy storage from such an abundant element was too tempting to ignore. For decades, sodium batteries appeared in labs and small trials, then quietly disappeared again. Costs were high, performance was low, and investors lost interest. But the dream never fully died. With sodium available in almost limitless amounts, the hope remained that one day it could finally step out of lithium's shadow. Cattle's mystery move. The announcement came without warning. Cattle revealed its new sodium line and attached a number so low it stunned the market. $10 per kilowatt hour was not just progress, it was a leap no one expected. For years, experts said $100 was the magic target. Crossing that point meant electric cars could finally rival gas on price. Now, KTL claims to go 10 times lower, rewriting the scale entirely. But the details are missing. No scientific papers, no deep technical breakdowns, only a promise backed by their reputation. Some call it bold marketing. Others think it signals a hidden breakthrough waiting to be shared. The silence only fuels curiosity. If this were a startup, doubt might drown the claim quickly. But when the world's biggest producer speaks, the industry cannot ignore it. Everyone is asking the same question. Did KTL truly find a way to turn salt into the cheapest energy store ever? How sodium batteries work. A battery is like an energy storage room. It works by moving charged particles between two sides called electrodes. In sodium systems, the moving particles are sodium ions. They travel back and forth depending on whether the pack is charging or giving power. When the ions move to one side, energy is stored. When they return to the other side, 
that energy is released to run lights, motors, or anything else. The process looks almost the same as in lithium designs. The main change is the type of ion moving inside. This switch makes the battery safer, but also heavier. The ions are larger, and that means less power for the same weight. Still, the design itself is not strange. It relies on the same basic science that has powered phones and cars for years. The difference is element choice, and that choice changes everything. Safety and abundance. One reason sodium draws attention is safety. These batteries are far less likely to overheat or catch fire compared to lithium packs. News stories of electric cars burning on highways or phones swelling with heat have made people cautious. Sodium offers a calmer and more stable alternative. Another advantage is sheer availability. Sodium is found almost everywhere on Earth, from deep oceans to common minerals. Unlike lithium, it does not rely on limited mining zones or fragile supply chains. That alone could reshape global energy security. But abundance has never guaranteed success. For decades, engineers struggled to make sodium affordable once the cells left the lab. Processing steps, inefficiencies, and poor durability kept costs stubbornly high. Each time hopes rose, they quickly fell again. That is why CETL feels so disruptive now. If they solved both safety and price at once, the balance of power in energy storage may be shifting. Naxtra, Catel's flagship. CETL gave its sodium battery a name that sounds sharp and modern. They call it Naxtra, and it comes in more than one version. The first packs are built for heavy trucks that need strong start-stop systems. A model targeting passenger cars will follow. What sets Naxtra apart is how it handles extreme conditions. It keeps 90% of its power even in deep cold, near minus 40 degrees. That kind of performance opens markets that once seemed impossible. Regions in northern China, Russia, and Mongolia could finally adopt electric transport. Another claim is longevity. CATL says the battery can last more than 10,000 cycles, far beyond today's standard packs. For comparison, many lithium units fade after 3 or 4,000 cycles. The promise of years without noticeable decline is almost at the infrastructure level. Energy density also surprised observers. At 175 watt-hours per kilogram, Naxtra is closing in on common lithium iron phosphate technology. Freevoy Hybrid Technology Naxtra is not the only path CATL is exploring. The company also built a system called Freevoy that mixes different chemistries together. Think of it like a hybrid car, but inside the battery pack itself. Sodium cells are paired with lithium iron phosphate or nickel-manganese cobalt cells. Each chemistry has its own strengths. Lithium gives a high range, while sodium performs better in cold or extreme heat. Freevoy can switch between them based on what the driver needs. Long trip ahead, rely on lithium. City driving in freezing weather, sodium steps in. This setup also balances weaknesses. Using sodium as a reference point, the system keeps lithium cells more accurate during charging. CATL says the mix adds a few extra miles to range and improves efficiency overall. It is a clever design that shows sodium does not need to replace lithium completely. Instead, both can work side by side. The catch, economics and skepticism. Bold announcements always raise doubts. CATL spoke of record low costs, but it did not provide the full proof behind the numbers. The market has seen many battery breakthroughs before that failed once scaled. Without open data, the claim feels exciting and uncertain. Another challenge comes from lithium itself. Prices have dropped sharply in recent years, reaching levels once thought impossible. 
With lithium so cheap, the economic case for sodium becomes harder to defend. Why risk new chemistry when old is already available? Investors and analysts point to this price gap as a major obstacle. They want more than promises. They want contracts and deliveries. Katiel also faces the classic problem of scale. Sodium may be abundant, but factories still need to adapt, and those changes take time. Until real products appear on the road or in homes, doubt will remain. For now, the sodium story is half proven fact and half mystery. Scale and market readiness. Katiel is not moving into sodium as a small side project. The company already holds nearly 40% of the global EV battery market, and that scale gives it an unmatched advantage. Its sodium packs are designed using nearly the same process as lithium cells, which means production lines can be adapted rather than rebuilt from scratch. That lowers costs, speeds up output, and allows new chemistry to enter the market far faster than expected. Dozens of car models across China have already signed up to use these packs. These are not experimental concepts for trade shows, but real vehicles heading for customers within the year. On the technology readiness scale, this places sodium near the top. It is no longer a theory. It is almost market-proof, ready for wide adoption. The effects could ripple far beyond cars with lower costs, Households could finally afford reliable energy storage linked to solar panels. Cities could balance power grids more smoothly by holding renewable energy and releasing it when demand peaks. Remote towns could gain electricity without burning fuel, while fleets of buses and trucks could run longer for less money. If CATL delivers, energy access could be transformed across industries and regions. This is not just a company or a battery. It is about rewriting the economics of clean energy on a global scale and shifting how the world powers daily life. The promise of a $10 battery is powerful. It suggests a world where energy is no longer scarce or costly. CATL has placed sodium back in the spotlight, but questions still surround the claim. Proof will come only when products reach markets and endure real use. Whether it succeeds or struggles, the industry has been pushed to think differently. New options create pressure, and pressure drives change. So what do you think? Would you trust your car or home to run on salt-based power? The future may be closer than it looks.